Hey fellow crypto enthusiast, welcome to today's quick trend analysis. Here we go. In today's video you will find out how the price of Bitcoin has changed and what the technical indicators SMA, EMA and MACD are showing. If you are not familiar with the indicators, check out the explanation videos down below in the description. Looking at the hourly time frame for Bitcoin, the price rapidly went down with around 7.1% in the last 24 hours, with a current price of 56,152. The volume was also high showing that this move was strong and the sellers are taking over. Looking at the hourly simple moving averages, the current price is between the 200 and the 100 SMA. If the price bounces off the 200 SMA which is currently at 55,720 it could be seen as a support and the 100 SMA that is at 58,389 could be seen as a resistance to the upside. Breaking either way signals a possible further move to the corresponding direction. Important to note is that the price is currently above the 200 SMA, which can play as a strong support. However, breaking it decisively to the downside will signal a potential big move down. Moving to the hourly exponential moving averages, the current price is below the hourly ribbon, which is generally bearish and the ribbon could play as a resistance, so it is to watch if the price will bounce off it or break it. The current price to watch is around 58,887. Nevertheless, a trend change can be expected owing to the ribbon being compressed, which means that the trend is currently not very strong. Jumping to the hourly MACD, the MACD line is below the signal line, which shows that the current trend is on the downside. The momentum is currently indecisive, according to the MACD histogram. This means you should wait and see if the MACD line will cross the signal line, which will be bullish, due to the expected shifting momentum. Moving to the three hourly simple moving averages, at the moment, the price is between the 100 and the 50 SMA. If the price bounces off the 100 SMA which is currently at 53,523 it could be seen as a support and the 50 SMA that is at 57,294 could be perceived as a resistance to the upside. If there were to be a break either way, it means that there could be a continuous move in that direction. Moving to the three hourly exponential moving averages, the current price went below the three hourly ribbon so you should see if the price can jump back above the ribbon or it will play as a resistance to the upside currently at around 56,800. Jumping to the 3 hourly MACD, the MACD line is below the signal line, which shows that the current trend is on the downside. The MACD histogram shows that the momentum is currently strong and it could be expected the price to go further to the downside. Looking at the daily simple moving averages, the current price is above all simple moving averages for this time interval, which looks bullish and it is to watch if the closest SMA, the 20 SMA could hold support or the price will break it to the downside below the current price of around 51,396. Looking at the daily exponential moving averages, the current price is above the daily ribbon, which is generally bullish and the ribbon could play as a support, so it is to watch if the price could bounce off it. The current price to watch is around 46,523. The support should be considered because the ribbon is more or less spread out. Moving to the daily MACD, seeing as the MACD line is above the signal line, meaning that the trend is currently on the up. However, the MACD histogram shows that the momentum is currently shifting to the downside and it could be expected that the price will consolidate and it is better to wait and see if the MACD line will cross the signal line, which will be bearish. Generally, the bigger time frames have a bigger impact on the price, so please keep that in mind when we show different time frames showing contrasting indicators. Also the shorter time frames are only representative for the short term trading. Thanks for watching. New videos are uploaded every few hours analyzing various cryptocurrencies, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out. If there is something that you didn't understand, leave us a comment below and we'll get back to you. You should know that trading with cryptocurrencies is very risky and these videos are only an overview of what happens with the price and a pure technical analysis without considering the fundamentals. So you should read more and make your own investing decisions. See you next time. Next time.